Hi guys, we're here in Yellowstone today at Great Fountain Geyser to talk about texture. So let's take a look around and see what textures we can find at Great Fountain Geyser. We can zoom in and look at the rocks here nearby. And you can see that these rocks are rough and crumbly. So if you were going to draw them, you would want to try to make them nice and rough and crumbly using shading. And let's zoom in on a different part. How about the water over here? The water is very smooth, so it makes a nice reflection of the sky and the trees nearby. The smooth water is a good contrast with the rough rocks and that are closer to us. Now let's look at the inside of the geyser right there where the water comes out. And that area is very bumpy. It also kind of looks like clouds, just kind of soft. Well, they're not really soft because it's rock, but clouds and a bumpy texture, kind of cloudy looking rocks. And then as you look over here, you can see the steam rising from the geyser. And the steam kind of makes a soft, cloudy texture against the trees. Now let's talk for a second about the science behind the geyser. Here in Yellowstone, you're actually inside the caldera of a giant volcano. And when rain and snow fall here, they go down through fissures or little cracks in the earth, and they hit magma, which has risen up toward the earth's surface. It's very close to the surface here, much closer than it is in Texas or many other places in the world. And that's why there are so many geysers in Yellowstone. That rain and snow makes it down to the magma. It gets superheated, and then it comes back out of the earth as a geyser or a hot spring.